Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you for clicking. This is episode 94 on Mr. Bright's project. All right. I'm super excited that most of you are you know heeding to the call. Uh, kindly subscribe if you haven't. Okay. Hit the subscribe button. Okay. It's written subscribe. Just click on it. Once you click the subscribe button, there's a bell icon. All right. Please hit the bell icon and keep it on all. Okay. When you press the bell icon, you will see three information. You click the first one. The first one says all. That means it puts you on a post notification that whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first to be notified. And then you smash that like button. Okay, you give it a thumbs up. In your view with my 3D, it was designed by Jonathan. In case you need Jonathan, please contact the numbers on your screen for your drawings, all kinds of drawing. If you need a permit, if you need a land, if you need a surveyor, please contact Jonathan. All right. So in your view is my front door. In episode 93, um, that was the last video that I showed you. Yes, I bought this door from White Temples. White Temples on the screen. If you go to the YouTube channel, you type White Temples and it will pop up. Mr. Owusu, he's the owner of this beautiful shop. He sells all kinds of building accessories. You understand? As you can see, this is Mr. Owusu's shop. Okay, yes. He's in, uh, I think, Accra. Okay, very renowned gentleman, you know, is an elderly man who sells quality stuff. So all these doors you can get from white temples. Remember I told you I bought the roofing sheet from this man. Okay, yes, if, if you watch the Kokrobite project, I bought the stone coated roofing sheet or people say the Euro tiles. Okay, I bought it from him. So these are some of the Euro tiles. You know, sometimes you need to fish out the quality stuff and then share it to your audience and for me that's what i do i take my time to search for quality and then i share it with you someone will say it's expensive yes it is expensive but how would you feel if you spend so much money and you get home and you notice that your roofing sheet is a fake one are you going to rip it off and get another one so are you paying double or you are paying less so why don't you pay for the good one once and for all? Yeah, that's one thing people don't get it. You just pay for the quality. So this is the sample of my door. This is how, this is how my, my door is. You see? So this door is going for 9000 It's going for 9000 Look at this one. It's so beautiful. And when I look at this one, ah, my breath. <laughs> it's so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, yeah, so contact Mr. Wusu. Yeah, Mr. Wusu is very simple. He is very accommodative. He has so many options in terms of payment and all of that. Look at those sanitary, those pasting sink. Ah, it looks so stunning. So beautiful. Look at these doors. Okay, it's so beautiful. Okay, so take your time and shop around. Get the quality stuff. Get it installed. Okay, Mr. Wusu, he has an installer. When, I, when he gave me the burglar proof door, he gave me an installer. The installer took, I think, 300, but I gave the guy 400 Ghana cities for a good job. Because he took his time. The whole day, he made sure everything was perfect. It was linear. There's no you know, damaging of the door itself. Everything was there. Are you with me? So take your time. Contact Mr. Wusu. Look at the WCs. Whatever you're looking for, it is right here. Contact Mr. Wusu. Okay. Contact me. She she's in the shop with him with his daughter. Okay, an elderly, um, beautiful lady. Are you with me? And they are running the shop and it's so beautiful. Those pasting sink are unique. So you contact Mr. Wusu for all that you need and come and thank me. Okay. You I know come and thank me. Yeah, I'm super excited when I see quality stuff i'm looking for quality because once i've fixed the thing in my room i don't want to go about three four months oh it's 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 damaged you have to buy another one no no we don't do that we don't do that 
So the burglary proof doors, they have quality ones. Don't buy the fake. Are you with me? All right, so back in my house, um, remember in episode 92, coming on 93, I started the construction of the biofield digester. Are you with me? And this is done by Mr. Federico Wusu. Mr. Federico Wusu is my plumber. He's very good in so many specialties. Okay, so now we've expanded the biofuel digester. Biofuel digesters are convenient. Okay, they have no order. You don't have to dislodge every month or every three months or every four months. Depending on the capacity of the population in the house, the biofuel digester will be designed to suit the number of population in the house. Now, if your area is a waterlogged area, sometimes going for biofuel digester is not ideal. Why? Because we need to create a sock hole. You understand? The sock hole is like a sock away. What is it sucking away? It's sucking the water away from the def um, from the defecate. Okay. Yes. So when that water is not able to flow, then your biofuel chamber will be full of water. Do you understand? Because in waterlogged areas, the water is stagnant. It's not moving. So we need dry land, areas that water can easily be absorbed. You understand? That is where we say it is ideal for biofuel digester. Now, if there's a gutter where they can run all these wastewater into that is flowing, irrespective of it being a waterlogged area, then that's okay. Because all we need is to dislodge or get the water out of the chamber. You understand? So that is what Mr. Frederick Owusu and his team are doing. Okay, we did the chamber, everything was perfect. There was there's a chippings down there, and then we pour the charcoal. And after the charcoal, okay, they are going to cover it up with a net. Okay, the net is going to serve as a sieve. Are you with me? It's going to serve as a sieve for these purposes. And then right after that, we are going to patch the edges. You're going to patch all the edges to hold the net. So as you can see, you see the net is going in there. Are you with me? It is very, very important. So I've expanded and I've created two biofuel digesters. One for the ground floor and then the other for the two bedroom apartment on the first floor. Are you with me? And this can accommodate, assuming that one apartment has about five or six, okay, a husband and a wife and a kid, uh, approximately five people, that's okay. And then the other section of the apartment, five, that's 10 people. It's accommodative, you understand? It's accommodative and I have no issue. Everything is fine. Are you with me? So gradually, gradually, as you see, I am making progress. All these videos, I've been piling them because I have other videos that I need to share on the channel. So I take my time, I share other videos, I compile my videos, and then I start sharing them one at a time. So all these things, they have been done already. You understand? They've been done already. Probably the next time you'll see another video, I, I might be in Ghana or even come back to Dubai and you might not even notice. <laughs> so I have gone so far in, in the project and I am so excited that I'm inspiring someone every day. Are you with me? My goal is to inspire you. You know, don't, you know, don't envy. It, it doesn't do anything. It won't change anything. All I want you to do is take your time, work harder, plan, align yourself with the right people, okay, so that your money does not go waste. Align yourself with the right people so that the job will get done. Are you with me? For me, that's my goal. Yes. I will just make sure that the money you have given to me is has performed what I told you it was going to do. Are you with me? Yes. I've made so many mistakes. I have improved a lot, okay, in my area of work. Are you with me? And that is the essence of human. If you don't make a mistake, you will never learn something new. Are you with me? Some people are afraid to fail, but no. In fact, the greatest success people in this world are those who fail one time 
and they rose up 20 million times you understand so yes now that you're watching you can minimize those errors that you or perhaps those mistakes that you have made this is the time watch it it is not about me it is about you improving so watch the channel subscribe to the channel okay keep it on post notification learn something every day are you with me and you can you know shop around check okay verify and then be sure because you can ask a dumb question you can ask a person your simple question and they'll give you a dumb answer so you should know whom you're asking the question is that person well educated is that person qualified to give you an answer you know are you asking the right person you should ask questions to the right people because you can get wrong answers from the wrong people and you will think that oh this person said it's not possible and so that's it you accept the fact that it's not possible but all things are possible ask the right people you understand so here you've seen my biofuel digester it's gonna work perfectly the earlier one that I did I had no issue it was perfect all I had to do was expand it make it a little bit bigger you understand and that's it and that's all so pretty soon you'll be seeing me utilizing my biofuel digester and mr Freddy Kowusu did a fantastic job on that so that's the fiber okay that's the chemical the fiber is mixed with a chemical already so now it is done the biofuel chamber is done it's complete finish bam there's no issue all i have to do is prepare a slab and cover it up and that's it i'm done this is so simple and a safety tank you have to dig the ground buy so many blocks work my shape and all of this is very simple very very simple bam okay i'm done all right i hope you've been inspired kindly subscribe to the channel hit the notification okay bell okay give it a thumbs up from me to you shalom god bless you wherever you are bye bye